Screen scraping is the process of extracting data from a specified UI element or document, such as a PDF file. Screen scraping methods are the core of all the activities that enable extracting data from a specified UI element or document. In some cases, data is sent directly from the user or from one activity to another by using variables or arguments. But in other cases, other methods are needed to take data out from various screens or documents. This is where screen scraping methods are used. They enable data extraction from different UI elements that the automation workflows interact with. The screen scraping wizard enables the user to point at a UI element and extract text from it. The steps are, first, start the screen scraping wizard from the design ribbon in the UiPath Studio. The screen goes into computer vision mode, highlighting the UI elements that it identifies with blue. Once the user selects the UI element, the UiPath Studio will automatically choose a screen scraping method. After it finishes extracting the text, the wizard shows the outcome and the user can select one of the three methods to customize it using the properties. And then the user can click the refresh button to refresh the outcomes according to the new settings. To extract text from a UI element, the user can use one of the three screen scraping methods that UiPath supports, and these are the full text method, the native method, and the OCR method. The full text method is the default output method. It is the fastest method with 100% accuracy and can work in the background. The full text method can extract hidden text, for example, fetching options available from a drop down list. However, Full text method does not support Citrix, which is a virtual environment, and it does not capture text position and formatting. The native method is compatible with applications that use the graphics design interface. The speed of the native method is slower than the full text, and native method does not work in the background. However, this method can extract the text position and formatting with 100% accuracy. And just like the full text method, it does not support Citrix, which is the virtual environment. The OCR, or the Optical Character Recognition method, is the only method in UiPath which works with Citrix. This technology relies on recognizing each character just like how we recognize faces in photographs. OCR cannot work in the background, and it cannot extract hidden text, and the speed of OCR is the lowest. Its accuracy varies from one text to another, and changing settings can improve the results. Just like the native method, it can also capture the position of the text. The full text output method is the default output method in UiPath. It is fast, accurate, and can work in the background. It can capture all the text from the terminal screen, including the hidden text. However, it doesn't work on Citrix and other different virtual environments. It does not retain formatting and text position as well. The native output method can be used only with applications that are built to render text with graphics device interface. It is useful when the coordinates of each word are needed, and when the font and color of the text are required to be retained accurately. However, it has its limitations as well. It only extracts the visible text, and it cannot work in the background, and it cannot support Citrix. 
This method offers the following options: no formatting and get words info. When the font and color are not necessary to be captured, the no formatting box can be checked, and the wizard extracts only the text, just like the full text method. For get words info, this option can extract the position of each word and can support several separators. By default, it can process all known characters as separators, like comma or space. But when specific separators are specified, it ignores the others. Additionally, the custom separators field is dis displayed, enabling the user to determine the characters used as separators. If the field is empty, all known text separators are used. Although both full text and native methods have excellent results in terms of accuracy and speed, there are specific cases in which both of these methods are unusable. For example, if we need to extract information from a virtual environment or read text from images, the OCR output method should be used. It is based on the OCR technology used in recognition of scanned documents. It attempts to recognize each letter or given an image in the target document. It is slow when compared to the other methods, and it has lower accuracy. And the accuracy varies from one text to another. It cannot extract hidden text and cannot work in the background. The OCR method has two default engines. The use of these engines depends on the type of information being extracted, and the two engines are Google Tesseract and Microsoft Modi. In general, it's better to switch between the methods to see which of the engines brings the better results for each particular situation. If the user has downloaded or installed the packages of other OCR engines such as AB, ABBYY, they will also be available while choosing the OCR engine. Google Tesseract OCR gets better results for character recognition on smaller size areas and supports color inversion. It offers multiple customization options through filters that can be used to select only specific categories of characters. The method offers the following options: language.、Uh, the default language is English. Characters. This enables the user to select which types of characters to be extracted, and the following options are available. Any character, numbers, letters, uppercase, lowercase, and so on. Invert. When this checkbox is selected, the colors of the UI element are inverted before scraping. This is useful when the background is darker than the text color. Scale. The scaling factor of the selected UI element or image. The higher the number is. The more enlarged is the image. This can provide a better OCR read, and it is recommended with small images. The get words info gets the on-screen position of each scraped word. Microsoft OCR is used to work with Microsoft fonts and on larger size areas. It supports multiple languages. This method offers the following options. Language enables the user to change the language of the script text. By default, English is selected. The scaling factor of the selected UI element or image can be configured in the scale option. And the higher the number is, the more enlarged is the image. This can provide a better OCR read. And it is recommended with small images. Gets word info gets the on-screen position of each script word.
Now let's watch this demonstrative video on how to scrape text from a UiPath blog post using the Screen Scraper wizard and store that information in a notepad file. Hello, and welcome to the step-by-step -step demo of how to use the screen scraping tools in UiPath Studio. For demonstration purposes, we will build a workflow that will scrape text from a UiPath blog post and store it in a notepad file. The first step is to open a blog post on the UiPath website. Now, go to UiPath Studio and click the Screen Scraping button from the Design ribbon. Indicate the text you want to copy from the UiPath blog page. In the Screen Scraper wizard, you can see that we can choose from three different scraping methods from the drop-down menu. These are Native, Full Text, and OCR. Choose each of them one by one to see their results in the preview area. Click the Scraping Method drop-down and select Native. Now, click the Refresh button and see the preview. You can see in the preview area that the Native method successfully scrapes the data. Now, try the other two methods as well. Again, click the Scraping Method drop-down and select OCR and click the Refresh button. We can see that the output of OCR is in paragraph style as you saw on the website. Now, click the Scraping Method drop-down and select Full Text and click the Refresh button to see the preview. You can see that the text is scraped in full without formatting. Now, drag and drop a Write Text File activity below the Screen Scraping container. In the Properties panel of the Get Full Text Activity, you can see that the name of the output variable is P, which was defined by the Screen Scraper wizard by default. In the first text box of the Write Text File Activity, enter this variable P. Click the ellipses icon adjacent to the Write To File Name text box. In the pop-up window, right-click in the empty space and select the Text Document option and save the file. Save and run the workflow. Now, open the Save Text File in Notepad to see if the scraped content is stored. You can see that the content is stored in the file. Thank you for watching.